Rolling. Five. Four. This is the first video of Lesson 9, Section 1, Three-Point Perspective. And one of the problems we have when drawing a three-point perspective is the vanishing point, especially vanishing point number three, uh, is often, is usually, off the page. And it's often off a drawing board that you may be using to lay out your drawing. So there is a little trick that we can use to control the location and the convergence of lines to vanishing point three. And what I'll do is I'm going to draw just a simple building. And to start this building, I'll draw a horizon line and a right and left vanishing point. And the building is going to, front edge or the leading edge of the building will extend vertically all the way up to vanishing point three. Vanishing point three in this case is going to be off my sheet of paper. So to control that, I want to set up a couple of guidelines. And the first thing I'm going to do on the horizon line is estimate increments, equal increments, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight equal increments to, uh, on the horizon line to the right from the center, center or leading edge of the building I'm going to draw and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight equal increments to the uh, left, toward the left vanishing point on the horizon line. Uh, then I'm going to, near the top of the page, draw another line that is parallel with the horizon line. And I'm going to subdivide that line to the right and left of the leading edge of the building that I'm going to create uh, using a smaller scale. So whatever scale I used on the horizon line, I will just use a smaller scale up above. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight increments to the right, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight increments to the left. And if I take increment number nine, for example, on the horizon line, and increment number nine on the line parallel with the horizon line, and extend that to a point where it intersects the leading edge of the building that I'm going to draw, and then do the same thing to the right of that leading edge, they will converge at exactly the same point off my piece of paper. Let's draw the building. The leading edge of the building, the bottom of the building, I will uh, draw two lines toward the left and right vanishing point, representing the base of the building, horizon line on a building, is usually situated about eye level above the building or above the base. Let's draw the top of the building. And now I want to converge uh, vanishing point. So let's just take vanishing point one, two, three, or a tick mark one, two, three. Align that with the third one up above and draw the an edge of the building. We'll connect that. And then we will extend that edge of the building. And now I extended it out to about tick mark one, two, four. Tick mark one, two, three, four above. Connect those. My uh, top of the building now, let's make a very small line here and we will connect that with tick marks one and two above and below. And then we will add a little dimension to the building. And we will align that with tick mark three below and tick mark three above. And then let's put one more line to our building. Extend that all the way out to tick mark one, two, three, four, five below. Tick mark one, two, three, four, five above. And now I've got a three-point perspective layout of a tall building. And it, you can see that building is converging to vanishing point three that's off the drawing board simply by scaling off the horizon line, a parallel line uh, toward the top of your paper scaled off at a smaller scale will allow you to uh, converge all vertical points toward vanishing point three. Thank you.